Welcome back to Mr. Possum Adventures. We are playing our crazy dino park once again. We're doing some maintenance today. And also I'm gonna talk about how to collect and make money. How to collect coins, how to collect gems, just give you an extra tips. Uh, of course, if you have any additional tips that I might be missing, please let me know because I would always be interested in making a little bit more coins so that I can fund my expeditions. And let's get into it. So of course, uh, one of the keys to get a lot of coins is to regularly log into your game because your coins uh, accumulate as uh, when you're AFKing, when you're away from your phone, when you're offline, whatever. Um, so you will you will log in and find a nice, nice amount of coins as you can see we just logged in um, for the first time today. And we got a nice amount. Now, one thing to remember is that your vault, where you store your money, you store your gold, so coins, has a finite amount that it can hold. So in order to be able to accumulate more when you're offlining, you will need to upgrade your treasury, not the vault, but it's called the treasury. So keep in mind, it costs gold and gems to upgrade. And of course, that uh, may be challenging. You can purchase gems. Uh, there's many ways of collecting gems in game, but it is somewhat slow. Um, of course, the fastest way is to simply purchase them with real money. Uh, or, um, or if you can't do that, then you would have to just collect it through the game. And the same thing with collecting coins. You can also purchase them with gems and real money as well. So that you can just click on the gem icon or the gold icon and it will show up the in-game shop for you oh okay so tell me what the popularity index is so uh let's collect our money oh and of course if you want to collect or make more coins faster on your ticket booth that also needs to be upgraded my ticket booth is only level six I just didn't want to spend any more money. I feel like I'm getting a good amount right now and I'm kind of happy with it. I don't play um, as often as you think I do. Maybe it's very evident from my progress. So let's collect our coins. And another thing to remember is, of course, this is more helpful when you're lower levels, is that your people, you see all those little humans that are walking around in your park, as they look at the dinos, they drop coins. And in higher levels, they drop not only just a five, like this, this is a five gold coin, they uh, drop occasional 100 piece and even a 500 piece. And I think there is a thousand as well, if I'm not mistaken. So you can follow those large groups and just collect the coins for a while. Again, this is more helpful when you're lower level because you do need quite a lot of money in order to fund some of the expeditions, but every bit helps. And if you're just idling, doing nothing, it's just something to do. It kind of gives you a little mini clicker game as well. Now, I have described it in one of my previous videos, but another thing you can do to collect the coins is to make your dinosaurs perform and what i mean is if you click on a dinosaur he jumps right look at that right now if you continue clicking more people are going to be attracted to that so if you keep clicking you get quite a crowd and eventually they're going to start dropping a little bit of cash so if you got nothing better to do that's another way to just make a little extra coins now and then now also don't forget that sometimes your dinos poop and i know i talk about dino poop a lot in here and that's just the way it is but occasionally the, now the turds don't bring in a lot of cash it's just a five coin piece like for example my beautiful Meatball over pterodactyl dropped the turd right there. I'm gonna clean it up by dragging it. Excuse me, guys. Oh, big coin. So that was, I think, a 500 piece. Um, you just drop it over into the garbage can and you get a five, pe a five coin piece. Now, that's not a, not a lot, but if you have those epic guys, which are the shiny ones, their poop is epic poop and it it's a gem if you throw it out you get a gem out of it so i thought that was cool now another way you can get your dinos to perform is when you're a sufficiently high enough level and i don't remember what level i 
was when I unlocked it is you get a dance party and that's something I've also talked about in previous videos yeah sometimes I want to check all their pens because sometimes they also drop eggs all right let's see where is it is you unlock dance party and a stage and you can have the dinosaurs dance in your party oh like this see this is an epic poop it's got a nice pink color and we can drag it over oops i missed doink and we get a gem now so that's kind of cool um the dance party is not always available for some reason i always seem seem to miss it but when it's available you can set your dinosaurs whatever dinosaurs you pick hit a play button it does cost five gems to start it but when you start it they will dance it looks really cool a lot of fun i do have a video on that i'm gonna link below and you get uh, money out of it so that's kind of cool um, another way to make money is of course by doing expeditions and that is at the very beginning of your game and you probably are aware of it but if you're just beginning to play don't forget to do that it is worth it so you find pieces of a map earlier in the games and different tiers you got bottom tier medium and a high tier expedition they will bring you some rewards like bones maybe pieces of robot dinos uh, money or cards for your battling and it's kind of fun it's a little bonus thing that you get when you log in you got a bone we got some bones we got some cash very cool and you could send them back out if you want to this is the lower tier it only takes two hours for him to come back this is a medium tier so the higher the tier of the box of the expedition the better rewards obviously you get better higher level bones and a little bit more cash and sometimes you even get gems in there as well so this one takes nine hours to come back and it costs one gem to start the expedition this guy is not ready we're gonna wait and this is the highest tier it takes five gems to start it and it's like a 24 hour return but they do get a decent amount of money back uh let's put our egg to hatch what do we got oh got this little guy very nice very nice all right So another way is, um, of course, doing expeditions, finding items, completing them, and uh, getting those uh, rows of um, special finds completed gives you gems. Then occasionally you get, well, actually, let's go through this first. Doing PvP battles gives you money if you win. Sometimes, if even if you like win um, only half of it. So like if you just defeat one of the, your opponent dinos but lose to the other one, you still get a little bit of cash. It's not a whole lot and I'm not really good at it. If you watch this channel for a while, you know that I'm really, really bad at PvP battles, but I keep trying. Um, there is Sky Tournament. I haven't really been participating in it. Again, a lot of it I think has to do with just PvP and I'm just not good at it. So I kind of avoid it for the most part. Uh, let's see what else can you do this is where your fighters are and of course if you just begin the game competing the competing no, com excuse me completing your quests your game quests will also give you money and gems that you will need to start off occasionally as you play you will get events and they will pop up on the upper right corner of your screen and they could be anything from you need to find Kenny who drops into the pastures, uh, pastures, <laughs> into the enclosures. He likes to climb over the fence and go into the dinosaurs' enclosures over and over again, so you have to find him, or you may need to say hi to a specific NPC visiting your park, and you get some money, and there's some other mini games like that. I do hope the developers will add more because uh, I think they're a cool little bonus and it's not a lot of money but it certainly keeps you going for a little bit longer 
let's see how ever else can you make the cash so at some point you also get this roulette which i i haven't really won i think i won something once i need to spin it and it's a little bit of a chance to get something like i said i don't have oh i got something i got 10 gems to put in my piggy bank and when your piggy bank is full oh, excuse me we don't want to do that we want to exit when your piggy bank is full you can turn it in uh, for real money for a bunch of gems and that's why i have as many gems as i do because that's what i do once in a while i will make a purchase i think it's like um it could be different for your country amount so it's not a lot of money and i feel like maybe every couple of months i can do that and it gives me enough gems to be able to upgrade my enclosures whenever I want and maybe even get some decorations. That's all I use it for, really. Okay, so our quest is two dinos. Yeah, we can do that because we have a lot of dinosaurs to assemble. So why don't we do that? Uh, let's do this guy. It's kind of fun. All right, Plesiosaurus, he's my aquatic fella. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. And little butt bone. Ooh, and we got babies. We gonna combine the babies. What level are we, are we at? We're only at level three, huh? That's weird. I thought we were higher, much higher level than that on these guys. See, as I go along, I make sure to pick up all the coins because at the end of the day, it may not be much, but it all ends up. Okay. Oh, oh I completely forgot about these stands. So you can purchase the snack stands. Yes, I know you're unhappy that there is no pizza, but you know what? It's 100 gems to buy pizza. I'm not doing it because you only get 2000 coins back. I just don't feel like it's worth it. But you can get those snacks and people will pay snacks and you can upgrade them as well. I just feel like it it's not something that I want to use my gems on. See? Alright. So we've got one dino assembled. Let's do another one and collect our gems from Mr. Um, I don't know who he is. He's like the guy who runs the place, I suppose. Uh, let's do a T-Rex. I've been trying to level up my T-Rex to level 6 for the longest time. And for some reason, I have the hardest time finding the bones for him. Have you had any problems with that? Leave me a comment if you did, because I don't know what it is. And he's like one of the first dinos you get too. Alright, let's combine... Right. So we got level twos, and we can put those together. We got level three. Oh, we have only level three. <sighs> All right, so I have to have more T-Rexes to level up. Gosh. Well, thank you. Got a couple of gems. All right. Actually, I would like to get some more radars. Uh, in my previous video, I was talking about radars, how much I love them, how much I uh, find them better. Oh, what's this? What's Oh, Kenny. Kenny always comes into the weirdest spots of the park. Um, I feel like if you find him hiding behind a tree, you should be getting a prize of some sort for it. I'm just saying, developers, if you're watching, I feel like chasing Kenny around the park merits some kind of an award. Let's do my Aviraptor. There we go. These guys are pretty simple to assemble. The bones are very prolific. And easy. Yep, I already have it. Level 6 have not released them yet. Who 
else we got? I think I've been trying to get Triceratops released as well. I don't even remember if I have them level 6 or not. Now them got, got me thinking. Let's see. I do not have a level 6 Triceratops. That is very strange. I will have to... Do I have to upgrade the cage? Maybe not. No, it's pretty high level. Let's see if we can actually do that. Because I feel like we have a lot of them in there. It's level 2. No, it's level 3. Oh my goodness, I think we can actually... No, no. Wait. No! Oh my goodness, guys, guys, guys! We can upgrade Triceratops! What a surprise to level 6! And you get to see it! Oh my goodness! That is so amazing, because I've been trying to do that for the longest time. You have no idea. Finally! Finally! Let's look. Let's see what he looks like. Oh! Oh my gosh, he looks so cool! That's right, behold. Behold his horns. He looks like an elk. Like a dino elk. He's crazy looking. Oh my gosh. I might actually try him out on battle. Oh, he's so cute. He's so goofy looking too. All right, so that was pretty cool. Maybe I'll even give him like a hat or something. Let's see what looks good. Mm. No. Mm. No. What do we got? No. Ugh. Well, these are not good. Well, this is kind of cute. But 85,000? Hmm. No, we don't want to do that. No, we definitely don't want to do that. Do I have a free one? Why do I have a free one? Oh, that's strange. Okay, so he's got a free hat from something. I don't know how. That's odd. Do I have anything else that's... Huh, I do. I did not know that was available. Or maybe I purchased it at some point and I forgot. Because that is a very, very possible. Okay, so Triceratops, level 6. He's got a cool hat. Uh, let's see if we can see his stats. Now, the only way I know how to look at the stats of the dinos is from here. At the very beginning of the park. We have this little trailer. And Triceratops. He's probably at the bottom. No, how is, okay, so where is he? Okay, so he's got 255 HPs, that's not a lot. Huh, that is so not a lot, I'm not impressed with him because I have these other guys that are much higher. They are higher level dinos too. Well, I guess we can always apply cards. And level him up on this little trampoline when this guy's done. Poor guy. <laughs> He's working so hard. Alright, who else do we have to... Okay, this weird guy. Iguanodon. Which I swear Iguanodons look very, very different. Maybe I'm confusing him with something else. Alright. His older brother is like, ooh, he's so derpy looking. Look at that head. Oh, he's so derpy. Kind of cool though. Alright, so, well that I think does that. Are we even recording still? I can't tell. Yeah, we are. Okay. Hmm. 
My recorder went away. Oh, there it is. I lost it. Uh, we're about 20 minutes into our video. They're just standard for this gameplay stuff that I do. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how you get money in the game. Again, if you have other tips or um, anything that you might suggest, um, which is legitimate, I don't want any kind of, um, um, you know, stuff that we're not supposed to be doing in games. But yeah, I hope it helps. Thanks for coming to my channel. I hope you uh, play the game, enjoy it. Check me out. I am Stinky Possum in the game. I don't know if that's how you can find me. Maybe you can find me that way, maybe not. I think so. Player ID. Uh, this is my player ID if you want to, um, to add me as a friend. Here it is. Just pause it, write it down. And that's it. Thanks so much for coming here and watching my videos. Enjoy your day. I uh, love you all. Bye.